Alright guys, we're almost done with this Wrong Turn franchise, where I liked the first three Wrong Turn movies. Didn't like the fourth one. And man, this one... I, I can't... I don't know if I could say it's worse than the fourth one, because the fourth one I really didn't like besides the opening. But I guess there's a couple things I can give positive about Wrong Turn 5, um, in that I liked... I liked the main cop girl. I thought that she was a cool, like, like, a badass type of character, like, she took charge, and I just, like, like, whenever characters do that, like, they just were in charge and really wanted to take care of business, and I liked her, and I liked the cannibal guy who is the leader of the brother cannibals, who is played by the guy who plays, uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser, um... I really liked him because he was yucking it up through the whole movie and he was really entertaining. But the rest of the movie was just... It was more of the same and it was just... It got stupider and stupider. Like, the like to the point where I'm like... I understand these movies are stupid anyways, but like... God, these are just stretching now. Um, I like the fact that there's this mountain man fest... So it's about all these kids going to this mountain man fest and they're, they dress up in costumes. And I like the fact that the cannibals in the movie go into this festival and walk around and nobody think, thinks anything of them because they're in a, ca a costume festival. And yeah, I don't know what to think about that because if the makeup was like the first two wrong turns, then it would have looked out of place having these cannibal characters there, but because the makeup and is so shitty in this movie for these cannibals, it it it's weird. It works, but it shouldn't work. It shouldn't work that these characters are all like they look really bad with the bad makeup. But if it was the makeup from the first couple, then they would have looked out of place even when people were in costumes, like because they look like legit cannibals in the first two. So I thought that was really really odd and really outrageous. I was just like, okay, and the makeup was just so terrible. Um, and I just didn't, I don't know, like, and it started out like the other ones where it's like, this girl runs away from the cannibal, she gets her finger, like, cut off, and then this guy comes and helps her, and he's like, oh, I'll help you out, and then he realized that he's with the cannibals, this normal-looking guy who's, like I said, the guy who played in Hellraiser, or played Pinhead, Pinhead in Hellraiser. And I thought that just, it's it's really dumb because he's like, oh, I got something for you, and he axes her, and then she, and then that's how the movie opens, but I felt like every other movie opens like that, so this is just five times kind of too much for me for this particular franchise. There are movie franchises, horror franchises that I love, despite being the same movie every time, like Friday the 13th, I can watch, like, the first seven, like, and not get tired of the opening being the same, or the movie being the same, pretty much, just in a different kind of location, sometimes. But, uh, but we're talking about this movie. We're talking about the shitty Wrong Turn 5. Um, and then, so he cut, he axes her, and then he, the cannibal brothers come up, and then he says, will you give me a hand here? And then the cannibals pick up the, the, the deformed hand from earlier, and it's just such an easy, bad joke. I'm like, don't do that. That's just so, so dumb. Um, and I just, it annoyed me that, like, this movie is just so... I, I don't want to say... Tr I guess I'll say trashy, but I feel like I'm being a hypocrite because there's a lot of horror movie trash that I can watch more than this. But this one just, to me, was just so stupid. Like, so stupid and annoying for... A wrong turn movie and the fourth one wasn't good either but this one annoyed me in different ways as in the fourth one it would annoy me because all of the cliches like everybody split up everybody was so stupid with how they figured out about the cannibals and tried to escape them and in this one it's just more stupid with other situations um and it just really annoyed me that this movie was just so bad but in a way i didn't enjoy it um and there's some bad acting like that one guy who's this idiot jock is like terrible like the way that he uh like the way that he he acts in this movie it's really really bad um i really did not i he annoyed the shit out of me i was like 
fucking shut up, please. Like, and then of course he he's the one who gets tied up with something, and then a truck where they're pulling on him on the truck. But instead of like breaking his legs apart like they did in the fourth one for that other guy, they just hammer his legs in. And I and like his acting whenever he gets hit with the hammer is terrible. He literally screams in a way where it seems so fake and so like like he's not in any pain at all. It's really, really stupid. Um, and then there's this funny scene where I'm like, okay, this is weird to see this actor in this movie. It's only for like a couple seconds, but guess who's in this movie? If you watched Iron Fist, uh, Finn Jones became, I guess, big because of that. Like, it's he's not like a big actor still, but Finn Jones was in this movie for like 10 seconds where like he he's the, getting high and like talking to the sheriff um on a walkie talkie cause like or I mean on a like getting an intercepting or a reception from her like whenever she's trying to get help and he's just really high and it's stupid and I'm like that that was a funny point though just to point out that uh Finn Jones is in this movie um uh, I just didn't even I like for a second I didn't note and recognize him because he didn't have those lamb chops he has in like all the acting roles he's in now. But I was like, that looks like him and sounds like him. And what do you know? I looked it up and it was. So that was a cool little throwback to an actor that was not big at all then and I guess isn't really big now, but still he's bigger than what he was before. So I thought that was really funny, just seeing him. Um And then like the kills in this are kind of fun, but they're still ridiculous. And I feel like I've seen them done better in other movies. For example, there's a scene where this guy is buried underground, and then the cannibal comes out to run him over with a... I don't know what the vehicle's called. It's like a giant tractor with like all these spinning blades underneath it. Um, I feel dumb for not knowing what it's called, but... But it's it's literally just a rip off of the scene from Sleepaway Camp Three, Uncappy Campers, which I'd rather watch than this, of course, because I think that movie's hilarious and really fun and entertaining. But this one copies that, and it's it's not as entertaining. I'm just like, okay, that's it. Just didn't. And horror movies copy kills all the time, but I feel like that was a kill that was one that I've only seen in in that movie and in this one, and I feel like it might be done in other movies too, but. Um, that I have not seen, but I thought that it was just so, so annoying to see that. And like I said, it, I'm being hypocritical because there's a lot of horror movies that copy kills, like, from other movies. So it's not like... But it just, in that point, bothered me. Like, in that second, I was like, okay, that's really dumb. But it was fun it, that he... Whenever they had, like, the gore shot of him, like, getting ran over by it. Um, it was just silly. Um... And then I love the fact that these characters are so stupid and so, I don't want to say unlikable, but they're so boring and uninteresting. And there's this one girl who is left in the in the prison cell with, or I mean in the prison with the, uh, with the cannibal leader. And like, he convinces her like, let me go, like, then you'll live longer because he keeps saying to everybody else like, to the sheriff and the and the drunk guy who's in the other prison cell, he keeps saying like, "You're all gonna die tonight. My brothers are gonna come and get me and kill you all." And uh, and he says, or later in the movie, to this girl that's there, like, "I'll let you live longer, or I'll let you live. Like, we'll let you get out." And then she's so fucking stupid, and she lets him out. And then what do you know? She gets her eyes gouged out, which I thought was just. God, it's just so stupid that, like, she fell for that. And that's a cliche that I was like, you are trying hard to make this character extremely dumb because the way he convinced her to let him out was so bad and so stupid. And it's, it was just, I did kind of laugh whenever it just showed her, or just showed her later with her eyes gouged out because I'm like, fucking idiot, that's, you shouldn't have let the fucking guy who's threatening your lives out of the prison cell. Like, what? That's so stupid. Um, that annoyed me, but, uh, but I just thought that these characters are so, are so stupid, and some of them are unlikable, and they're just so boring, like, they don't, and like I said, horror movies are not known for, like, good characters, some of them are, but not a lot of them are, a majority of them probably are not, but this one just really just bored me with these characters, um, and then I felt so bad for the cop, or the sheriff, the only one that I liked, um, out of the good characters 
Because literally she gets tied up to where it's rigged to where she's going to get shot in the head by the cannibal leader. And then he lights the uh, place on fire and like he leaves and then you see like inside her head gets shot off and then like the building starts to burn down and it's I was like, man, I, I hate that you killed off the only likable character. And I was like, that that really bugged me. Because I did like her. I thought she was... her The writing isn't good, but I thought the actress who played this sheriff was had a badass personality to her. And she was really just... I, it, I cared more for her than a lot of the other characters. And then we get the dumb ending where, like, the girl with her eyes gouged out is walking down the road. And then... The she's so fucking stupid again. I mean, I know she's blind now, but she's so fucking stupid because she goes, like the guy, the guy who gouged her eyes out. Like he says, "Come on, I'll help you out." She gets in the car or the vehicle, the big truck that they drive, and then he says something like, "Guess who?" And she's just like, "No," and I'm just like, "No," and then it ends. And thank God because this movie didn't. It's not the worst thing ever, ever, like, I've ever seen, but it's just, it's really fucking terrible. Like, it, it really, um, this and the fourth one, like, I am kind of scared to see the sixth one, but I will do it just to say I'm a completionist. I want to watch it just to say I've seen it, but good God, these movies are pushing me now. Um, like, this a little, a tiny tad bit more than the fourth one, but they're still really fucking shitty. They're both terrible movies. Um... So yeah, fuck, I'm really not excited to watch the sixth one. But again, I will, and I can't wait to talk about it, I guess. I hope that there's something interesting to talk about with that one, as opposed to these other two, because they're not very interesting. So, I don't know. We'll see what the last one's like when I, wa when I review it next. So, thanks for watching this. Um, yeah, fuck this movie.